going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael, at your most wonderfulest service, humblest service to you. Uh, today is shoulder day. Uh, today we're going to take it a little bit lighter and more reps, uh, which is something I don't always do. Um, again, it's good to mix things up uh, periodically. So uh, we're going to be doing some warm-up sets with 95 pounds. And uh, my goal today is only uh, to warm up with this and then go up to 135. And I'm gonna do five sets of 135 in hopes that I get uh, 10 reps for each set. So I'm not gonna bore you with doing a lot of filming. We'll do one clip with the warm up, one clip with the workout, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. And uh, hope you all enjoy. Remember, guys, please, li please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Uh, please make sure you do that. Let's get the channel pushed out there. I think it's time that I reach about 2, 3 million subscribers and uh, start raking in the dough. I don't really care about the dough. I just want to get the subscribers and uh, get my uh, message across and start changing the world. That's really what I care about. If I was here for monetization, I would have quit a long time ago. So anyway, let's get some working out done, guys. some Smith Machine behind the neck presses. An amazing movement. Don't worry about all the uh, snowflake Instagram lifters out there, the wrong information you're going to get on YouTube and uh, other such things. This movement is absolutely amazing for you. If your body was not designed to do this, then why is your body designed to do this? This to this. You answer that question in the comments if you're one of those people that are scared. I have completely destroyed absolute garbage shoulders. Not from these, but from bench pressing from 20 years ago. Not from these, not from doing rear lat pull downs or anything else, but benching. Oh, and disc golf. <laughs> so don't be turned off by these. These are a great movement and they are a great uh, delt builder and traps <clears throat> and anything else. 107 pounds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, Ooh, and they're perfect on a Smith machine. Absolutely perfect. You get these stops, these safeties that you can raise up. You don't even have to worry about latching. Amazing movement for the shoulders. I'm going to do four more sets of these, ten reps a piece. Then we're going to move on to the next exercise. I'm not going to bore you with any more. So stick around, guys, and. Continue working out, doing whatever it is you're doing. All right, guys, I decided to do one more clip of this. I added a 10 on each side, which has me up to 127 pounds. 
that's probably more than I've done in this movement, and I just wanted to document it. Years ago, I've done more. So it's starting back. I just want to see how, how it looks and feels as I watch it back. The next exercise we're going to be doing today, side lateral raises. Uh, I'm only using the 20s today. Again, we're going for a little bit uh, more consistent reps. So uh, we're going to start with the 20s and probably stay that way. Maybe. All right, so let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll go ahead and do another set while we're watching right now. From the side, that way you get a little bit different angle. Michael, you should take a second to rest. I don't have a second. By God. Ready? Let's get another set of 10, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we only have three more sets of those to do, guys. And then I'll get back with you on the next exercise, and it'll be the final movement of the day. Woo! Feeling good. Shoulders are burning. Stick with me, guys. All right, guys. And just like that, we're done with the side lateral raises. Now we're over here to the barbell, to the rack. We're going to do some barbell shrugs. I'm going to warm up with 225. I'll show that clip, and then I'll show a clip uh, at my heaviest weight that I'm going to go to. And I'll determine that once I get going, and uh, we'll see where I end up. Got five sets to do, so I only got five sets to get it done. Where will I go? Stay tuned to find out. All right, let's get some shrugs. It's okay if, if you use straps, you know, you're not cheating yourself. Uh, grip strength is important, but are you going to be mountain climbing? Are you going to be holding someone over a cliff like that and trying to help them up? Is this cliffhanger? I don't know. But uh, once I get to the fours, I've got to use some uh, straps. So 450, I'm hoping to get 10 reps. shoulder day. What a fantastic workout. Uh, my last two workouts, yesterday and today, fantastic. Felt great. Um, 
again, touching on uh, a couple of things. Uh, one thing you need to think of when you're working out and you're looking at these movements that some people deem uh, scary and unhealthy and not good for you. Number one, you need to look at who's making the claim. Number two, you need to ask yourself this. Uh, maybe the movement is not good or healthy for them, but it could be for you. Also, you need to look at how you're performing the workout, how you're performing the movement. Um, your alignment, your alignment and how you uh, control your body is more important than your range of motion. It's more important than worry about cheek curls or half reps or quarter reps. It's more important than just about anything. Your alignment with the movement, getting yourself set, prepared, in a proper position. When, when I'm doing those behind the neck presses on the Smith machine, if I'm too far forward, then my arms are holding too far back. Okay, you don't want that because that will hurt you because that's putting your shoulders at risk. You want to get back super far, bump your head against that bar, and when you go up, boom, you're going like that. You have this motion, okay? You want to get those shoulders, you want to get those shoulders and everything uh, in alignment. You want to make sure your, your torso, your back, everything is nice and tight and you feel comfortable and secure when you're doing a workout when you're doing a certain lift. Uh, take deadlifts, for instance. I have a chronic bad back. Every time I move, my back is susceptible to go completely out. That is right. Even though I work out and even though I do deadlifts and even though I do heavy presses and this, that, and the other, my back is horrible. And I mean, it has been for 25 years and it's out 24 hours a day. But if you keep your if you keep everything in mind and think about what you're doing, uh, you're going to be safe working out, more safe working out than you are bending over to tie your shoes. Okay, I've thrown my back out more times tying my shoes, doing dishes, flipping a light switch, bending down to get my keys than I ever have working out. Okay, I have angered or, you know, annoyed my back when doing squats before and it happens because when you have a bad back that's what happens I have a bad shoulders and I have a bad neck and all that gets aggravated as well when I'm doing squats that's just part of what I deal with because I want to do squats um, my back doesn't seem to be aggravated anymore I think even though my back is out all the time it's it's horrible uh, I think I've strengthened it enough and got it used to doing these squats and things and the deadlifts that it's strengthened it a little bit it's not it's not good, but there's some strength to it. So and you got to listen to yourself. Listen to your body and what you want to do and what you're wanting to do with your workouts. Stop listening to all the crazy people that have no clue what they're even talking about. Okay? I rambled on long enough. I wanted this, I wanted this to be a short video, but I wanted to touch on a couple things. And, along, and also just another uh, touch on the straps. Okay, I did 315 pounds, two sets of 10 reps each without straps. I can deadlift uh, 440 or 45 pounds without straps, but when you deadlift, or when I deadlift, I'm using a mixed grip. The bar is not going to go anywhere. When you're shrugging, you're doing uh, a hook, you know, you're hooking. So the bar has a tendency to pop out of your fingers and roll. So you can't do most times in a shrug what you can do in like a deadlift or something. So, and that's the same thing with a, a bent row, a bent barbell row. You're hooking the bar like this, okay? You're not doing like that, doing a barbell row. So sometimes you have to use straps to keep the bar where it needs to be and so you can actually work the muscles. That's what straps are for. Straps are good, they're useful, and they're amazing. And uh, they'll take your lifts from down here to up here in a matter of a day. So uh, I remember the first time that I got straps, uh, me and a buddy of mine were working out. Uh, together once in a while and, uh, and our shrugs went from like 225 to 400 pounds in a day because we went and got straps and we were like oh my god why did we not get these before and then we ended up being all you know nice and beefy and thicker and heavier and stronger and and uh, everything so it's don't don't be a swayed away from using stuff like that it's a tool just like all the other equipment so uh 
Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I gotta go eat. I got my my uh, food cooking. I'm having tilapia, Brussels sprouts, a sweet potato, and I think that's it. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. If you find something useful, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have something to share with me, something good and helpful, share with me in the comments, and then let's build a big community. Let's get the subscriber count up to two. 0.57 million. What did I say? I don't know. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it. I gotta go eat because I gotta feed these muscles. Yeah. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.